Very good afternoon. You're with the news on headlines today. I'm Rishika Barwa. An army school in Peshawar is under terror attack. It all began at around 11.30 a.m. this morning when heavy firing was reported in a school in Pakistan's Peshawar area. Six armed militants stormed the school is what we're told at this point in time. The suicide bomber blew himself up outside the Peshawar's army public school auditorium. The latest reports say that 19 students one teacher and one security personnel have been killed in the Peshawar school attack. The Pakistan army choppers have been pressed into service. Reports say that four hospitals have run out of blood as the number of injured and the death toll continues to rise. The Tehreek-e Taliban Pakistan has claimed responsibility for the strike and has called it a revenge strike against Pakistan army's operation Zarb-e-Azb against terrorists in that is being carried out against terrorists in Waziristan at least 120 terrorists had been killed in strikes in uh, June 2014 a TTP spokesperson has been quoted as uh, having ordered the gunman to kill the older children in the attack Well, this is the latest uh, that is in fact coming in at this point in time from Peshawar. Those are live images that we're getting to you on your screens. 21 people have been killed in the terror attack so far. At least six militants wearing security uniforms entered the school. That is what uh, the local officials have in fact confirmed to the local media in Pakistan. Durian, my first aid ka program chal raha tha. कर्नल कोई डॉक्टर आए थे और इनको ट्रेनिंग देने के लिए के लिए तो पीछे पिछले दरवाजे से तीन छोटे दरवाजे हैं आर्डिटोरियम में वहाँ से कैंटीन की तरफ से हमला हुआ है सोना है चार बंदे हैं क्योंकि अंदर से जो खबर आई है और उन्होंने फौरन हमला करके अंदाधुंध फायरिंग करके टीचर भी जख्मी हैं अभी हमारे इतला के मुताबिक स्टूडेंट्स भी काफ़ी रही हमारी मैम ने हमारे सर नीचे करवा के हमें एक कोने में बिठा दिया एक घंटे के बाद जब फायरिंग वगैरह थोड़ी हल्की हुई तो आर्मी वाले आए हमें रेस्क्यू किया लेकिन जैसे हम बाहर निकले तो वहाँ पे हमने देखा कि रस्तों में कॉरिडोर्स में हमारे दोस्त शहीद पड़े थे उनको गोलियाँ लगी थी किसी को तीन किसी को चार खून उनका बहा हुआ था और सारे जर पीले पड़े हुए थे कुछ जख्मी थे अब जी स्टूडेंट भी थे और एक टीचर हमारे मैथ्स की टीचर सर जुल्फिकार उनको भी गोलियाँ लगी थी वो जख्मी थे मैं कैंटीन में बैठा हुआ था अपने स्टाफ वालों के साथ तो हमने देखा कि पिछले कैंटीन वाली दीवार से छः सात बंदे आ रहे छः सात बंदे आ रहे तो हमारे स्टाफ वालों ने कहा कि एक कौन है उन्होंने से एक ने बताया कि ये बच्चे होंगे लेकिन उन जैसे हमने देखा वहाँ पे फायरिंग स्टार्ट हो गई हम वहाँ से भाग गए अपने अपने क्लास में गए और यह नाइन टेन की जो है कोई पार्टी वगैरह हो रही थी अंदर तो क्लासों में बच्चे कम थे ऊपर फर्स्ट ईयर सेकेंड ईयर के पेपर थे वो बैठे हुए थे तो छः सात बंदे थे हमने देख लिया वहाँ से भाग गए और वो एक एक क्लास में जा रहे थे और बच्चों ऑल राइट एग्जीक्यूटिव एडिटर जावेद अंसारी इज लाइव विद अस इन द स्टूडियोज जावेद terrible news coming in from pakistan the latest figures mounting to a 21 people 19 students one security personnel one teacher have been killed how is this now likely to impact anti terror operations given the fact that this is clearly a revenge attack look we'll have to wait and see uh, like we were talking to general masood he he expressed the hope that now political parties as well as the armed forces will be on the same page and that you know they, they the only way you can take care of this now is to eliminate the scourge of terrorism and and the onus is also on parties like tehreek e insaf headed by imran khan he is opposed to this to this action he's his party heads the government in khyber pakhtunkhwa peshawar is a uh, peshawar is a, is a part of khyber pakhtunkhwa and therefore he also has to lend his shoulder to the wheel because today it's children and women and children who knows god knows what, who will come next i mean what manner of human being are these if at all they are that you know you tie you burn a woman alive that you you that you kill innocent children what was their fault what kind of ideology what kind of religion this Absolutely. does preach this does this teach you uh, right. you know as a parent this is the their worst nightmare come true innocent children went to school and they will probably never return for no fault of theirs so it's up now for the pakistani state to decide on what it wants to do okay. अभी तक इनको जख्मी मौसू हो रहे हैं हमने एक बच्चे को पर्सनली हमने इंटरव्यू किया और वो बच्चा कह रहे हैं कह रहा है कि डेथ टोल जो जो जख्मियों की तादाद है और डेथ टोल है 
वो जो यहाँ रिसीव है हुई हैं इससे कहीं ज़्यादा हैं यहाँ तो 18 डेथ्स उसूल हुई हैं और कुछ यहाँ हॉस्पिटल के अंदर मर गए हैं कुछ 40 तक जख्मी हैं लेकिन बाकी भी हॉस्पिटल्स में लोग जा रहे हैं और उस बच्ची का कहना है कि जो बिल्कुल आयनी शायद हैं कि लोग बहुत से लोग इंटर हो गए और उन्होंने फायरिंग शुरू की इनडिसक्रिमिनेट फायरिंग शुरू की और उस बच्चे का अंदाज़ा है कि अंदर के जो सूरत हाल है वो बहुत ज़्यादा खतरनाक और खौफनाक हो सकती है के अलावा भी अमल के अफराद भी इसमें शदीद या जख्मी है कुछ बता सकते हैं देखिए स्कूल टीचर अभी तक रिपोर्ट हुई हैं फीमेल टीचर रिपोर्ट हुई हैं और कुछ लोग हैं इधर एक बंदा आर्मी यूनिफॉर्म में भी मौजूद है उसको देखा जा रहा है कि सिक्योरिटी अहलकार उधर भी मर गए हैं इधर पिशावर इलारिज भी एक आर्मी यूनिफॉर्म में डेड बॉडी आई है इसको देखा जाएगा कि कहाँ कैसे लोग हैं क्योंकि जो हमला आवर है वो भी आर्मी यूनिफॉर्म में आए थे सर एक धमाका भी हुआ है क्या उसके बाद सिक्योरिटी इदारों से आपका रबता हुआ है कि उस धमाके के धमाके में क्या हुआ या कि देखिए मैं तो अभी यहाँ से निकला हूँ हम चीफ मिनिस्टर और पूरी कैबिनेट मौजूद थी और जो हमें अभी तक इतलात मौसू हो रही थी वो यही थी अभी लेटेस्ट मेरे साथ कोई अब इंफॉर्मेशन नहीं है लेकिन जो जिन बच्चों को हमने देखा हमने इनको इंटरव्यू किया और वो कह रही हैं कि मतलब इससे ज़्यादा भी कैजुलटीज और ज़ख्मी हो सकते हैं सर वजी अल यहाँ पर आए थे लेकिन वो मीडिया से बात किए बगैर यहाँ से निकल गए क्या आप नहीं समझते कि ये एक गैर जिम्मेदाराना हरकत है मेरे ख्याल में उनको एडवाइस किया गया है कि यहाँ एक तो हॉस्पिटल के अंदर जो एक रश बना हुआ था मुझे डॉक्टर ने भी कंप्लेंट कर दिया कि यहाँ जो लोग आते हैं पॉलिटिकल लोगों सियासी लोगों के विजिट्स होते हैं या इस तरह से जो बाहर के आम लोग आ रहे हैं इसकी वजह से हमारे जो इमरजेंसी को हैंडल करने का वो है उस पर असर पड़ता है बल्कि उस डॉक्टर ने तो मुझे यहाँ तक कह दिया कि मेरे ऊपर रश न होता और लोग आम लोग मेरे साथ इलाज में शरीक ना होते तो हो सकते हैं वो कहते हैं कि मेरे 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 आंखों के सामने दस बच्चों ने जो है वो जान दे दी है और उसमें से मेरा ख्याल है वो कह रहे थे कि बचा जा सकता है लोगों को मैं समझता हूँ मैं मेरा ज़ाती ख्याल ये है कि इस किस्म के जब वाक़ हो जाते हैं तो हमें मैं तो सीरियसली इस पर अब सी चीफ मिनिस्टर से भी बात करूँगा हेल्थ डिपार्टमेंट भी इसी भी बात करूँगा इसके लिए कोई प्रोटोकॉल डेवलप किया जाए मीडिया के लिए कोई अलग सेल डेवलप किया जाए पॉलिटिशंस के लिए अलग जगह डेवलप की जाए जहाँ पॉलिटिशन जाके वहाँ यादत करे और ये सारा कुछ ऑर्गेनाइज तरीके से हो और जो डॉक्टर्स ट्रीटमेंट करते हैं उसमें खलल ना पड़े बड़ी थैंक यू जी मेहरबानी All right, that was the latest reaction. In fact, coming in uh, from Peshawar, I'd like to go back to Javed. Uh, Javed, the Pakistani army earlier this year had launched a major operation to clear the Taliban strongholds in North Waziristan. That is something that the media has also widely been reporting on, and this clearly is seen as a revenge attack. To that, is this perhaps now time for the Pakistani political establishment and the army to come on the same page and fight terror? If they don't do it now, they will never do it. I'm just wondering how much more worse can this get? 18 innocent children one woman burnt alive i mean and you know perhaps god forbid the number could rise sabse pehle to itne bade afsosnak waqiye pe ranj aur gham ka izhar karte hain aur bachchon ke hawale se jo maine unki maiyatein dekhi phir doctor ne jo report hame di to unhone to 20 afraad ka jo hai wo shaheed hue hain और betaris jo hai wo serious hain aur 100 se upar jo hai wo zakhmi hain aur abhi पूरा पता भी नहीं चल रहा कि अंदर से कितने खुदा जाने कितने शहीद निकलेंगे और कितने जख्मी निकलेंगे एक ऐसा वाक्य है कि अपनी नोयत का बहुत अनोखा वाक्य इस हवाले से है कि वहाँ पे जरब यानी जो ऑपरेशन चल रहा है और जरब जरब अजब तो उसकी रिएक्शन की भी बात हो रही है लेकिन ऐसे ये बात हम पहले से कहते चले आ रहे हैं खुदा न करे कोई कि हम किसी हुकूमत के खिलाफ बात कर रहे हैं दहशत गर्द खत्म नहीं हुए दहशत गर्दी खत्म नहीं हुई और अगर हुकूमत गफलत बरतेगी तो मजीद इसके नुकसान होंगे और हुकूमत को इस तरफ जरूर तोज्जो देनी चाहिए अगर हम भी मदद कर सके तो हमसे भी वो अगर मदद ले हम इस वक्त ऐसी बात नहीं करते कि हुकूमत के असाब को कमज़ोर करें या दहशत गर्दों के असाब को मजबूत करें उन्होंने तो इसकी जो जिम्मेदारी भी कबूल कर ली है और इस हवाले से कि दहशत मजीद बढ़े लेकिन हमें इस इस वक्त मजीद यूनिटी दिखानी चाहिए हम दहशत गर्दों की मजम्मत करते हैं और उन दहशत गर्दों से इतना सवाल कि इन बच्चों का क्या लेना देना जो 
بچے ہیں اور وہ خود ایک بچے نے مجھے اب خود ہی جو کہانی سنائی کہ اندر آتے ہوئے لوگوں نے گولی چلانا شروع کی ہم زمین پہ لیٹ گئے اور پھر ایک ایک کر کے ہم کو مارا گیا اور ارادتا ایک ایک کو نشانہ بناتا وہ جا رہا ہے ایک خودکش جو اڑا ہوا ہے اور ایک یہاں پہ فوجی وردی میں ایک بندہ ہے جس کو نہیں پہچانا جا سکتا ابھی تک یہ بات نہیں ہو سکی کہ یہ فوج کا بندہ ہے یا فوج کی وردی پہن کر کوئی آیا ہے تو ایسی غفلت اگر ایسے موقع پہ ہو تو ہمارے ملک اور خاص کر خیبر پختنخواہ اس غفلت کا مرتکب نہیں ہو سکتا اور مزید اس کی یعنی وہ ری ارگنائز ہوئے ہیں جو ایک وقفہ ان کو ملا تھا جب وزیرستان میں پریشن شروع ہوئے تو ایک عارضی امن تھا اس امن کے دوران ان کو اپنے اقدامات اٹھانے چاہیے تھے یہ لوگوں کو یہ نوید سناتے رہے کہ ہمارے وقت میں امن آ گیا اور دوسری دوسری حکومتوں میں امن نہیں تھا ہمیں خوشی ہے کہ امن آیا لیکن مستقل امن تو آئے اور میں اتنا گزارش ضرور کروں گا اس موقع پہ کہ ہمارے حکمران کرسی کی جنگ چھوڑ کے تخت اسلام آباد کی لڑائی چھوڑ کے خدا را صوبے کی طرف توجہ دے اور جو آج کا واقعہ ہوا ہے تو فوجی بھائی اندر ہیں تو اندر کی صورتحال ہمیں معلوم نہیں ہو پا رہی تو ہم اندازے پہ بات کر رہے ہیں وہ جب نکلیں گے تو مزید ہمیں پتہ چلے گا کہ حقیقی صورتحال کیا ہے لیکن اتنا ضرور ہے کہ ہم اس موقع پہ عوام کے ساتھ ہیں ہم حکومت کا بھی ساتھ دینے کے لیے تیار ہیں اور تمام سوسائٹی سے دہشت گردی خاتمے کے لیے عوامی نیشنل پارٹی ان کا ساتھ دے گی Senior journalist uh, Hamid Meer is now joining us live for more. So before I ask you to comment on the current situation, we are given to understand that 1,500 students are still being held hostage in the school. What is the latest information that you have from Ground Zero? Hamid Meer, can you hear me? All right, we're going to try and re-establish uh, that line with Hamid Mir. Uh, meanwhile, my colleague Hamza Amir now joins me live for more. Uh, Hamza, what is the latest situation on the ground? Bring us up to speed with what you're hearing. All right, we seem to be having some audio trouble there. We're going to try and re-establish uh, those phone lines. Meanwhile, I'd like to go back... Uh, to executive editor Javed Ansari who is live with us in the studio. Uh, Javed, like we've been talking that this is time for the political and the military establishment to perhaps come on the same page and fight terror. Well, certainly it is. And if it, if this, if it doesn't happen now, God alone knows when it will happen. And I'm not so sure if it will happen. But listening to this gentleman who was speaking on, on, on our channel just now, he says that, you know, he didn't seem to be enthusiastic about this of the military action. He even offered his services saying that my party is willing to mediate. I mean, you still want to mediate with, with such people who don't even spare children, who don't even, for, for whom even women are fair game. Where right. is the room for mediation? All right, uh, Javed, hold that thought. So the reaction is coming in from the students. Let's listen. Uh, hall mein bula liya. To hall ہمارے اسکول کے یعنی پیچھے جو ہے نا بس وہ صرف ایک جالی ہے اور ایک دیوار ہے اور باقی پیچھے سارا کچھا علاقہ ہے تو وہاں سے آئے ہیں اور پھر پہلے اوپر چھت پر فائرنگ کیا ہے پھر ہم نے دروازے ٹیچرز نے سارے بند کر دیا تھے تو جب دروازے بند کر لے تو انہوں نے دروازے بھی توڑ کر آ گئے اب تو اندر جب آ گئے انہوں نے بس فائرنگ شروع کر لی سارے بچے ڈر گئے تو فائرنگ جب شروع کر لی بس پھر تھوڑی دیر بعد یعنی پھر چلے گئے تھے نا کہ اور وہ جو ان کا پولی یعنی آرمی والا جو تھا ان کا بھی ایک بلٹ لگی ہے ہم بچے سارے یعنی بیٹھ گئے تھے نیچے تو انہوں نے یعنی پہلے ہوا پر کیا ہے فائرنگ پھر بچوں کو ایک ایک بچے کو مارا ہے مار رہے تھے اندر تو پھر وہ سارے بچے جب وہ تھوڑی دیر بعد چلے گئے یعنی جو دہشت گرد آئے تھے اس کے بعد سارے بچے گئے یعنی دو ونگز ہیں ہمارے اسکول میں ایک کالج ونگ ہے اسکول ونگ ہے کالج ونگ میں ابھی بھی خبر ہے کہ وہاں پر دو کلاسز میں بچے ہیں اور یارغمال بنائے ہوئے انہیں تو ہم سارے اندر چلے گئے تھے اسکول ونگ میں تو وہاں پر ہم کلاسز میں بیٹھ گئے تھے اپنے یعنی نیچے دروازے واروازے بن کر کے بیٹھ گئے تھے نیچے تو پھر بہت دیر ہم بیٹھے رہے بہت گولیاں چلتی رہی پتہ نہیں کیا کیا تھا بس ڈس ڈس لگے ہوئے تھے تو اچھا بیٹا جب یہ لوگ آئے آپ نے کسی کو تو ضرور دیکھا بھی ہوگا بھاگتے ہوئے دیکھا ہوگا وہ کس روپ میں تھے کیسے لوگ تھے سمپل شلوار کمیز پہنی تھی اتنی بڑی بڑی داڑیاں تھیں ان کی ماشاء اللہ سے اور وہ بس لگے ہوئے تھے فائرنگ اور عربی زبان میں لگے ہوئے تھے واقعہ جس پر آج جتنا بھی افسوس کیا جائے شاہد طالب علم نے عام سے 
All right, those are students, in fact, recounting the horror of what exactly happened inside. They said that they, try, they were trying to shield themselves. And uh, in fact, the terrorists were just dressed like uh, any ordinary people. They were carrying guns. 21 people have been killed in the Peshawar school attack so far. 19 students have succumbed to injuries. One teacher burnt alive and one security person has in fact lost his life. Javed Ansari is live with us in the studios. Javed, just like to get in a word from you on the Tehrike Taliban Pakistan. They've been fighting since 2007 against uh, the operations of the army in that particular province. Uh, you know, the, the, the general sentiment would be that if they have a fight against the army, fight the army, why attack their children? This is perhaps the most coward way of waging a war. You know, because terrorists don't fight the, a battle according to rules or, or norms. For them, everything is fair game and that's why they are terrorists. Because women and children, everything is fair game. They will stop at nothing to achieve their end. And therefore, for all those who've been deluding themselves and who've had blinkers on, that somehow these people will be, will be managed and they will turn around. They, it, this should now wake them up. Injured uh, students there uh, on your screens. Many of those students have in fact reacted, spoken to the media about the horror that uh, they underwent. Those are live visuals that we're getting to you from uh, the various hospitals. There are four hospitals uh, in Peshawar currently that are also struggling uh, to meet the needs uh, of blood supply. And at this point in time, while the casualty figure is at 21, remember over 1,500 students are still being held hostage and that casualty figure is likely to only rise. 30 students have also sustained life-threatening injuries. They are being treated at various hospitals across Peshawar. Executive Editor Javed Ansari is still live uh, with us. Uh, Javed, you know, it does appear that there has been a silent endorsement of terror on Pakistani soil not too long ago, about a fortnight ago, we saw Hafiz Saeed conduct a rally in Lahore with impunity, met with the silent endorsement of the Pakistani political establishment. Is this perhaps then, uh, you know, a wake up call for them, like you've been saying, to in fact, uh, you know, not encourage any kind of terror activities to flourish on their soil? At least now, at least now, when this, after this dastardly attack, Pakistani authorities should wake up. They should stop differentiating between a good Taliban and a bad Taliban, a good terrorist and a bad terrorist. Terrorists are terrorists and they cannot be good. Uh, you know, they, till now they were happy that only Indian blood was being spilled. Now, they, now this is blowing up in their face. And if they don't realize this, this monster will eat Pakistan alive. Well, absolutely. Also, the, uh, the Tehrike Taliban Pakistan has been working uh, very closely with the Al-Qaeda and uh, they have, uh, you know, that, that, that connection so far has, uh, has been very open. It's been out in the open and yet neither the military establishment nor the political establishment have in fact reacted to that. All right, more eyewitness accounts uh, coming in. Let's listen. firing position अभी पता है अभी नहीं छोड़ रहे अंदर तो मैं वापस आ गए ये थे ताज जिन्होंने हालात बताए हैं मैं आप वर्षक रोड से मुतारिफ कराता हूं कि वर्षक रोड क्या है अगर हमारे कैमरामैन बता सके तो ये सामने रोड है all right, my colleague Hamza Amir now joins us live. For more, Hamza, take us through the latest uh, on the ground. What is the situation like currently? We're, we're given to understand that there are six terrorists holed up inside that school and over 1,500 students being held hostage. Uh, yes, uh, in fact, there were at least seven uh, militants who were inside the school. One of them blew himself off uh, with a suicide blast, uh, right. while uh, there are six more still present inside. At least 17 children have been confirmed dead, while uh, three teachers have also been uh, shot dead. Uh, militants have occupied uh, and took hostage at least 1,500 students, out of which 500 were the ones who were actually giving their papers, while the other ones were enrolled in their classes. Uh, स्टेज uh, पर जैसे आप खुद फरमा चुके हैं जो ऑपरेशन जारी है इस स्टेज पर कमेंट करना मुनासिब नहीं होगा ठीक है और शाह महमूद खरीश साहब लास्ट सवाल आपसे यह रखना चाह रहा हूं कि अगर इस तरह कैंट के एरिया के अंदर एक आर्मी से जेर निगरानी चलने वाले स्कूल के अंदर ऐसी सूरत हाल अगर पैदा हो सकती है पोश इलाके में अगर ऐसी सूरत हाल पैदा हो सकती है तो फिर पिशावर क्या है खैबर पख्तूनखा का कोई भी स्कूल महफूज नहीं है 
मैं समझता हूँ कि दहशत के सामने पाकिस्तान का कोई स्कूल या कोई शहर महफूज नहीं है ये वाकियात मुल्क में रूनुमा होते रही हैं और मस्जिदें निशाना बनती रही हैं इमाम बारगाहें निशाना बनती रही हैं जनजों पर हमले होते रहे हैं ये आपके सामने है तो न सिर्फ खैबर पख्तूनख्वा यस खैबर पख्तूनख्वा क्योंकि सबसे करीबी इलाका है फाटा के करीब है तो इमीजिएट इम्पैक्ट उस पर होता है लेकिन दहशत गर्दों की जद से कोई महफूज नहीं है कुरैश साहब आपका ज्यादा वक्त नहीं लूगा आखिरी एक सवाल ये रखना चाह रहा हूँ कि जो इनकलाब की सूरत हाल के पेश नजर मुख्तिक जगहों पर जो धरने दे रहे जा रहे हैं और अठारह तारीख को पूरा मुल्क ब्लॉक किया जाना है पाकिस्तान तहरीक इंसाफ की जानब से अगर जुडिशल कमीशन नहीं बनता है जैसे कि आप स्टांस है पाकिस्तान तहरीक इंसाफ का तो मैं ये सिर्फ सिर्फ ये जानना चाह रहा हूँ कि इस वाक्य के बाद का आपका क्या स्टांस होगा क्या फिर भी ऐसा ही रहेगा All right that was a foreign a former foreign minister of uh, Pakistan that you just heard uh, senior journalist Hamid Meer is also live with us uh, at this point in time so thank you so much for speaking with headlines today I'd like to come to you first on what we just heard the former foreign minister say that no place in Pakistan is secure if such a dastardly terror attack can be carried out in the heart of a cantonment area uh, actually uh, it's almost crazy belongs to Pakistan tehreek e insaf Uh, headed by Imran Khan, and this is the party which is ruling the province of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. And uh, this uh, uh, attack today was uh, uh, launched uh, in the capital of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa in Peshawar. So I see that Mr. Shahmud Qureshi is trying to divert the attention. He is not ready to accept the responsibility because his party is ruling this province, and his party is not paying any attention uh, to address the. problem of terrorism in his province his chief minister mr parvez khatak is always busy in uh, uh, participating the uh, uh, participation in uh, uh, demonstrations against the central government he has never uh, uh, paid any attention to actually uh, uh, deal with uh, the uh, terrorist of tehreek e taliban in uh, the province right. of khyber pakhtunkhwa according to very confirmed reports some of the ministers who belongs to the party of shahmu qureshi they are paying uh, a bribe to taliban for uh, saving their uh, the lives of, of their family hmm. so this is the total failure of uh, the provincial government in khyber pakhtunkhwa and shahmu qureshi only trying to divert the attention by saying that no place in pakistan is safe uh, but this uh, area is in the containment uh, but uh, there is another aspect that this area is very close to the tribal area right. uh, the khyber uh, khyber agency so that is the reason that shahmu qureshi was trying to divert that attention all right you know the politics of this aside the fact is that the pakistani military has launched a major operation to clear the taliban strongholds in this area of north waziristan the tribal area that you've been referring to how is this now likely to impact anti terror operations actually Uh, the north waziristan area is far away from uh, peshawar but there is another operation going on in a tribal area which is very close to peshawar it is called khyber agency right. it is only 3 to 4 kilometers away from this school so this school is very close to the tribal area but uh, unfortunately uh, the intelligence agencies they informed the provincial government that uh, on 16th of december uh, the, uh, the the militants may uh, try to attack some Uh, school uh, in the, in the containment area of Peshawar. Unfortunately, the provincial government failed to give protection to the school, and uh, even the intelligence agencies were aware that it will it may happen, and it happened. Mm. Uh, so uh, the the second reason is that uh, uh, Pakistan military was now planning to send back the IDB, the internally displaced uh, people. Uh, there are about 1 million they belong to north waziristan and yesterday it was decided to send them back to north waziristan because uh, according to uh, the army high command the operation is not successful right so to, that is the reason that they attacked uh, army public school in pishawar just to give a message to the people of pakistan that the operation is not successful 
All right, you know, that's a very important point that you're raising that the political establishment in Pakistan ignored intelligence warnings that were in fact issued of a possible possibility of a terror attack on the 16th of December. But you know, the magnitude of terror that we're seeing right now on Pakistani soil, will this finally prompt the military and the political establishment to perhaps come on the same page and wean out terror altogether without discrimination? Yes, you're, you asked me a very important question. Uh, in yesterday, uh, the Prime Minister and uh, uh, the, the, the the Chief Minister of the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province, the party headed by Imran Khan, they were fighting with each other. Right. Uh, so uh, after this attack, they must uh, get united against uh, all these uh, these militants. Uh, uh, and uh, according to the latest uh, uh, reports, three terrorists inside the school they have been killed. So it's a success now. It's a, right. it's a, it's a big success that three terrorists have been killed. But uh, I think that now the, the Prime Minister of Pakistan must uh, uh, convene an all-party conference uh, and he must invite Imran Khan to, right. to uh, become an ally against the war against terrorism. Otherwise, they cannot uh, uh, defeat his uh, terrorists. Hamid Mir, thanks so much for joining us with that perspective. Senior journalist from Pakistan echoing what we've been talking about in the studios here as well that this perhaps is the cue that the government and the political, estab the political establishment and the military in Pakistan needs to pick up, unite and fight terror on their soil without any discrimination. We're going to continue to track developments on the story. Three terrorists have so far been confirmed dead, 21 people succumbed to injuries and hundreds others seriously injured.